Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the video. Man, throwback. Salam Mike. Feels like it's 2014. I'm in my office. I got a microphone, just a camera and a screen. Just a young boy with big dreams sharing my journey with y'all. So here's a little throwback to the Arnold. Shout out to Spark Society for having us in. Um, we caught a little workout with the boys. Now, you guys know I'm dieting. I almost ripped my groin off on this thing, by the way. Evan's doing the stack, and I'm doing like 50% of that. It literally felt a pop in my gooch. I don't know if you guys ever had that because I sure as hell have not. And I didn't see a doctor. I was too embarrassed. And I looked down there, broke my neck trying to get a view, grabbed the mirror. You know how to check yourself. And everything's okay. But holy cow, does that thing hurt. Um, Arnold weekend. So I had a day to burn. Shout out to Avi, our coach, my mentee. Grabbed first at the Pro-Am um, the day after this. Spoiler alert. But the day before, we got to mess around a little bit. So she, poor thing, was in the room cutting. Uh, Jim McD was socializing and networking, uh, talking to all the fitness folks. And I caught a quick leg workout. Normally when I travel, especially when I'm dieting, especially a long trip, like this is like it takes us six hours for no reason to get to Ohio. I normally don't like to train legs purely because I know I'm going to be lazy. And, uh, you know, another spoiler alert. I was lazy. These boys get after it, man. Uh, JPG, you guys probably see him for his educational content, but this dude really does get after it in the gym. This is my first time meeting Evan in person. We got along great, but Evan gets after it too. So whatever they were doing, I was doing you know, 60% of the weight and probably 60% of the effort, if we're being honest, um, simply because my legs just get tired and my mental focus isn't there, and I'm not a competitive bodybuilder. I'm not a competitive. Holy, you guys are blessed with the dumpy view. You're welcome for that one. Um, I'm just not competitive. You know, I, I, I lift, um, for the community. I lift for the culture and I lift for my health and mental health, but mostly uh, in situations like this, I like to kick it with the boys. So I'm just hopping around machine to machine. Uh, our boy, John and, and Seabass were deadlifting. So I hopped over there. Uh, JP, Nadim and Evan were leg pressing. So I hopped over there. I'm literally just bouncing back and forth. Um, trying to have a good time. And I do like to move when I travel. It helps jet lag and helps my groggy feelings a little bit. So I like to move around, stretch my legs, get some blood flowing, but I ain't going to go crazy. Um, if it was arms or something, I might go a little crazier. But legs, I just don't want to be sore. And again, my mental focus is not there. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm quite the introvert, uh, for those that may or may not believe it, despite my face and voice being all over the Internet for the last 12 years. Uh, or if you meet me in person, I might seem very social and outgoing. Um, but I think there's a big difference between being able to speak to people, connect to people in person, or being um, good at being social, which is something I'm decent at, versus being an introvert. Um, for me, being an introvert is, is where I prefer to be, where I gather energy. And when I have an option to do anything I want, like a free day, I'm probably going to spend it alone, um, either on the couch alone or in my bedroom alone, maybe playing video games at max. Um, but I'm insanely introverted. So it's a little bit difficult for me to go to big festivals like this or big expos or even to be around the homies. And luckily for me, these guys, JP, Nadim, JP, I mean, I've known Nadim since he was 18 years old. Um, and JP is, is easily moved himself into the inner circle of the homies. I've only known him for a little over a year now, but he's just uh, very like-minded um, despite him being an absolutely maniac on the leg press. I, I, I think we were listening to uh, Celine Dion, and he's still bashing his head like that, trying to start a mosh pit. I'm not really sure what goes through his mind on all days. But the support, as you can see, is through the roof. We have a good time, but we still get after it, and that's just my vibe. Um, but all that to say, the social stuff takes so much out of me and the preparation for events like this that... Uh, I just don't have the energy or mental capacity to go really hard in the gym. Plus, we had a clothing launch. Plus, I was worried about Avi. Plus, traveling and getting the team together. So, um, that T right now, you see me rocking to those shorts JP got on, are available. 3SB.co. Some sizes are already sold out. So, um, if you want to get involved with that, go to goodcompanydiscord.com. Um, that's where our community is, and you'll get first dibs on all clothing, uh, exclusive sales, exclusive sneak peeks, and a like-minded community where you get to chat and hang out. Um, some video game folks, some lifting folks and just some uh, positive people. Again, some of those sizes are out, but check it out if you're there. Um, if not, join the Discord. Uh, basically, all we did is I started and warmed up with that adductor, the uh, little good girl, bad girl machine. I don't know if that's socially acceptable or not. Um, then I think we did some leg extensions, which is actually very backwards. These guys are obviously hypertrophy-focused, so it's not something I typically do in that order. But it felt good to get my joints a little lubed up. Um, I thought JP was going to die, so we had to save him. And then we just hit some leg press. Uh, he was doing single leg. I did a couple single leg to feel a stretch, and then I just went to uh, double leg. 
um, to get a little bit better. Look how intense this dude is. He was messing around earlier, but once the weights got serious, JP really started to turn it up. I appreciate you guys for listening to me ramble. It's been a long time since we're doing these voiceovers. If you made it this long in the video, comment below if you like the voiceovers or not. More coming. It will allow us just to give you more lifting footage and some of my deeper inner thoughts, as in if I'm mic'd up in the gym, it's a little bit more difficult to chat with y'all. I appreciate you guys so much. Three new videos a week, four new shorts a week. Stay tuned. Be sure to subscribe. Sell a mic. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. We over me. Be a part of something big in yourself. Appreciate y'all. Sorry you caught me with my pants down.